Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another What's on the Shelf. Let's get into it. First off, we have Rum and Bones, Second Tide. Uh, this is a, a Seamon game, so it's got a lot of miniatures in it. And in this game, uh, you'll have your own pirate crew and ship, or ships with some. Uh, there's multiple different... Uh, crews you can play as. There are two in this base game box, and you have multiple guys to choose from as your um, hero characters. Um, but yeah, you'll be trying to complete objectives like destroying parts of the other ship, fighting off waves of enemies that the other player is sending across the, the board, kind of uh, MOBA style, if you're familiar with that sort of PC game. But you know, you'll be uh, taking turns activating heroes and crew, attacking ship, the enemy ship, and trying to earn eight victory points by eliminating the enemy heroes and destroying the key parts of their ship. So that's pretty much that. Up next we have the Blue Troush Legion expansion for Roman Bones Second Tide. Um, and this is an orc faction. Adds new characters, new faction. Uh, new cards you know, for, for that faction, and I also have the Kickstarter promo character for this. I can't remember what his name was, but he's in there as well. But yeah, adds a, adds a few new mechanics when you play with them, like the Orcapult, and they have their own ship boards and miniatures and all that good stuff. And next up, we have the Iron Inquisition expansion for Roman Bones Second Tide. And it's the same thing, adds its own ship, own uh, heroes, own uh, minions, cards, um, everything. And I also have the Kickstarter character for that one as well in there. But yeah, just more of what Rum and Bones is. More factions, more ships, and yeah, more fun. Up next, we have all of the Rum and Bones um, like character expansions, I guess. There's the sea monsters on the top there, which just pretty much upgrade the cardboard tokens in the base game to uh, plastic miniatures. And then under that, we have the uh, Maria del la Muerte Hero Set 1, which adds uh, a new set of heroes to that faction. And then... Underneath it, we have the Iron Inquisition Hero Set 1, which is the same thing. It's the new set of five heroes for that faction. And then we have the Deep Lords Hero Set 1, which is the same. It adds five new heroes for that faction, one of each type. And then under that, we have the Blue Trash Blue Legion Hero Set 1, which, as the others, just adds another set of heroes to the base game uh, with that to match with their expansion and then under that we have the uh Roman bones second tide captain's promo set which adds some uh new captains to the game that can be used in uh, the different crews and then next up on the bottom there we have the mercenaries promo set four and promo set three and this just adds mercenary heroes that can be used with any faction. And uh, they're kind of themed or whatever. But um, from like old video games or fairy tale stuff or Disney movies, uh, there's the beast in here wielding a candelabra. But up next after that, we have the... Um, Gods of Asgard expansion for Blood Rage, which adds gods to the game. And you play one of these out. It says this expansion introduces the power of the Asgardian gods Odin, the Allfather, Thor the Victorious, Tyre, the Lord of Battle, Frigga, the Mother Protector, Loki, the Trickster, Himdall, the Watcher Guardian. Each of the gods' influence provide... or. Influence the province they occupy in a unique way, affecting the basic rules of the game. But new miniatures, new cards, more stuff for Blood Rage is always good. Uh, next up is the Blood Rage Mystics of Midgard expansion, which adds two new 
characters to each player, um, faction or whatever, the uh, mystics. But you know, more miniatures, more cards, uh, powerful new unit to join in the battle. Mystics of Midgard, these shamanistic warriors invade the land with ease. But, then next up we have Blood Rage, and Blood Rage is an area control game with drafting. You can draft your, your cards um, at the beginning, and you'll be placing out your, your characters and using monsters to try to occupy the board and try to develop your strategy as you play. Uh, it's a lot of fun. really like Blood Rage, but... Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of monsters, a lot of, you know, trying to figure out that strategy, and the drafting is fun. Up next, we have Way of the Panda, which is another Simon game. And you are the head of one of the great panda clans. Throughout the game, you must strengthen your champions and move them across the map. By doing so, you'll defeat the ninjas surrounding your once great villages and develop them by constructing new buildings. Within these buildings, your champions will be able to accomplish special quests. You must also manage guards at your disposal and available actions, strengthening, moving, fighting, building, questing. All the actions will grant you victory points. At the end of the game, the Panda Clan with the most victory points wins. And last up, we have Gizmos. And in Gizmos, you'll be um, drawing a marble, or pulling a marble, picking a marble, out of this dispenser in the center of the table and putting it in your, your ring. And then you'll combo based off of how you've built your engine. You'll get these different cards, and you'll kind of build an engine, and you might be able to pick a blue marble, and that'll also let you draw a blind marble out of the top of the dispenser. Or like pick a marble, and it lets you uh, build or whatever, but you'll be building these different gizmos and activating them. And, yeah, essentially an engine. And uh, pretty nice-looking game. It's got a big cardboard. Uh, dispenser in the center that all the marbles go into. I guess that's it for this video. If you liked what you've seen, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below, and ring the bell to keep up to date with my latest videos. And have a great day.